On Sunday, May 29th, oh, this is game time, like the world will be watching. This crowd is going crazy. When all elite wrestling takes over Sin City. Win, lose, or draw, you will know that you have been in a fight. I am going to destroy CM Punk. In the most anticipated event of the year. Because we're champions, game time. AEW presents Double or Nothing, live. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special Saturday night edition of AEW Dark. I'm Excalibur, joined, as always, by the human suplex machine, Taz, and the third member of our broadcast team, Justin Roberts. This contest is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Rancho Cucamonga, California, Brandon Cutler. Taz, we are just about 24 hours away from Double or Nothing, live on Pay-Per-View, Bleacher Report, Fight.TV internationally, pay-per-view.com in Canada, select movie theaters around the United States, and probably a lot more places as well. It's basically everywhere that there's life. Anywhere there's breathing and life, you can find it. I don't like Cutler's chances in this match, by the way. And his opponent from Seattle, Washington, weighing 175 pounds, Darby. Darby Allen striding to the ring. We found out that this Sunday on pay-per-view, Darby oh. will be taking on Kyle O'Reilly one-on-one, -on -one, and Darby fired up after the damage Kyle O'Reilly did to the ankle of Sting. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. I, I don't blame Darby for wanting some revenge redemption. Watch oh. out. Darby! But you want to talk about clash of styles. <laughs> Come double or nothing with Kyle O'Reilly, who's a tremendous. Look at this, Darby Allen. Look at how he just throws crosses to the ring and takes out his opponent. It's a damn devil. Wait a second. Damn devil. Darby, Darby headed up to the top inside the ring. Coffin drop. I thought he was going to cover him, but I, I guess Darby's trying to send a message to O'Reilly. And I was fixing to say, different styles, dude, between O'Reilly and this cat right here. O'Reilly will kick your head off and take you down on the mat. Oh, what is oh. Darby thinking now? Maybe sharpshooter sending a message to Kyle O'Reilly and the undisputed elite. And right. is your winner, Darby Allen. Correct sharpshooter, I think in this case it'd be the Scorpion, right? Towards respect, towards the stinger. That's right. And up here. Wait on. a what second. Darby, doing? Darby grabbing the, the steel chair, but Bobby Fish oh, Bobby and Fish, yeah. Kyle O'Reilly. Pulling Brandon Cutler out of harm's way. Yeah, Darby's very unpredictable. And tomorrow on pay-per-view, double or nothing, Darby Allen, Kyle O'Reilly, one-on-one, lots of Kyle, bad blood. I'm not a stupid man. I know that leg of yours isn't 100%. You're a little mutt. This Sunday, I'm going to do to you what you did to Sting. I'm gonna tear your leg apart. See you, dumb or nothing. Oh, that's a direct threat message, whatever you want to call it, from Darby to Kyle O'Reilly tomorrow night, man. Can't wait. We are just over 24 hours away. Darby Allen, Kyle O'Reilly, one on one, part of our huge double or nothing pay per view event. Ahead of her big TBS championship match tomorrow at Double or Nothing. Anna J in action next. This next match is set for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Brunswick, Georgia, Anna J. Anna J, who tomorrow not only has a chance to end the undefeated streak of Jade Cargill, but to also be crowned the new TBS champion. High stakes matchup for this athlete tomorrow night, live at Double or Nothing on yeah. pay-per-view. 
and her opponent, Sandra Moon. No, you're, you're correct, Excalibur. It's a great opportunity for Anna Jay tomorrow night for that TBS championship. I mean, Jade, Jade's gonna be tough to topple, but we'll see if Anna could do it. And remember, Jade Cargill already holds a victory over Anna Jay when the TBS championship is on the line. Has Anna Jay grown from that experience? Has she become a wrestler that can encounter the gifts, the advantages that Jade Cargill possesses? Uh, we'll, we'll see, you know, but I'll tell you what, I think being a proud member of the Dark Order that Anna Jay is, she has a great support staff. Oof! in uh, all those men in the Dark Order, because Anna is the only female in the Dark Order. So she has a lot of experienced friends of hers in this industry with success that could help her, where Jade, well, she's got Mark Sterling, who's basically just a jabroni. <laughs> That's my professional opinion. And of course, Mark Sterling will team up with Tony Nese to take on the team of Hook and Danhausen tomorrow on a buy-in for Double or Nothing, just ahead of the big event on pay-per-view, Bleacher Report and Fight TV. Sandra Moon charging in, but Anna Jay cracks Sandra across the jaw with that back elbow. Yeah, you see that one. Oh, Anna, Anna just got whipped down hard on the back of her head right there. But she's, uh, you know, Anna Jay's athletic, she's tough. And again, she's built up such uh, uh, experience over her time here. We oh, watched her evolve, you know, in she, AEW. She got rocked there. She did, yeah. It was kind of like uh, baby giraffe legs when she got that elbow strike from uh, Sandra Moon landed. Yeah, some baby giraffes are tough. You know, like baby alligators are real tough, but baby giraffes can be lethal. <laughs> Got those big necks. I digress. And there's, uh, oh, that guy looked like a friend of ours in the audience there. Probably my friend John. Oh, Andrew. Anyway, I digress. Oh, wait, look at that. Lateral press counter. Two, no. Um. <laughs> Oof. Sandra Moon, swing and a miss. Anna Jay looking for the backslide. One. Oh, shoulders up, though. Two. I don't think the referee realized that. Yeah, I think Moon's uh, shoulder up. Yeah, yeah, he was looking at the, the left shoulder, but the right crept up off the mat. But regardless, this match continues as Anna Jay, the hammer throw into the ropes, reversed by Sandra Moon. And Anna Jay comes in, just a leaping elbow strike. And look at this. Anna Jay is fired up. We've really not seen this side of her before. Yeah, well, she knows the opportunity tomorrow night. She's got to be ready for Jade and that TBS championship on a big, big stage called Double or Nothing in Las Vegas. Yeah, we are sold out tomorrow night in the T-Mobile Arena. But you can join us on pay-per-view as Anna Jay locks in the Queen Slayer and Sandra Moon is going to sleep. And that is it. Anna Jay scores the win. The winner of this match, Anna Jay. Taz, I don't care if you are undefeated. I don't care if you're the TBS champion. I don't care if you're Jade Cargill. When Anna Jay locks in that Queen Slayer, it's all over. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, she, she locks it in, and we'll see right here how Anna does it. Brings those long legs right into the throat, locks in her choke, gets the legs in, and you have to tap out or you're gonna get choked out. It's that simple. Anna Jay with the victory here tonight. Will that be the story tomorrow when she challenges Jade Cargill for the TBS championship at the, oh, wait a second. Speaking of champions. The undis undefeated, undisputed TBS champion, Jade Cargill, Red Velvet, Kiara Hogan, the baddies at her back. But it will be one-on-one -on -one tomorrow night. Jade Cargill, Anna Jay, with that TBS championship hanging in the balance. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy for Anna, but she might be able to pull it off. Should be a hell of a match tomorrow night at Double or Nothing. The House of Black will collide with Death Triangle tomorrow at Double or Nothing, but first, they will be in action next here on AEW Dark.
a 20 minute time limit, approaching the ring at a total combined weight of 745 pounds. Buddy Matthews, Brody King, Malachi Black, the House of Black. Taz, I don't know if there's any more imposing trio than the House of Black, Malachi Black. Buddy Matthews and Brody King. No doubt, man. No, they oh, can't even see them right about now, but they're somewhere. There they are. Yeah, no, they're, um, these three athletes are impressive. They got on, that's the, that's the ring leader right there, Malachi. He's a smart, but evil man for sure. And he always seems to be two, three, maybe even four steps ahead of the opposition. Will that be the case? tomorrow night live at Double or Nothing when the House of Black finally collide with Ray Fenix, Penta Oscuro, and the bastard pack, Death Triangle. Yeah, Death Triangle is nothing to scoff at. I'm telling you, that is gonna be a trios match of all trios match. It should be off the chain, as the kids used to say back in the day when you were in high school, S. Calvin. Well, maybe, you're, maybe not then, but you know what I'm saying. The House of Black set to compete here tonight on Dark. And their opponents, Adriel Noctix, Greg Sharp, and Matt Brannigan. These three men. I hope they have a game plan. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's tough. It's tough you have a cohesive unit right there in that corner in the House of Black. I hope they've updated their contact information of their next of kin. That's a good line. Thank you. Actually, she was confident when I said high school school was young. I was pretty good. Appreciate it. So thank you, but you didn't. Go. Oh, it's okay. You, you so rarely say nice things to me, Ted. Well, I, you know, I, I just I, got a, a, this callous. Well, it's just sad. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, nothing. Malachi Black starting things out with Matt Brannigan of the opposition. Yeah, well, obviously Matt's given up. Brannigan's given up a lot of experience and violent skills to yeah, size, uh, like Black. Kickboxing technique. I mean, the list goes on and on. Malachi Black one of the most formidable singles competitors here in AEW, but now, since Matthews and King have arrived, I mean, just almost an unstoppable trio. Yeah, tre tremendous quick feet by Mal Malachi Black, you know, his footwork, his grappling skills, you know, people praise his, his, you know, his striking ability, his kickboxing, you know, what he can do, because he's tremendous. His footwork is underrated as a wrestler, though. His wrestling, his grappling oh. is excellent. Excellent, his chain wrestling, his catch, his catch again, everything. Oh, Brannigan like landed a back elbow, but Malachi Black sent him into the ropes, came back with an elbow of his own. Malachi truly is a hybrid of multiple styles. A nice back out of leg sweep with a line. That was good stuff. Yeah, Malachi coming up in the European wrestling scene. So a lot of great catch is catch can technique there, but also incorporates it with that Dutch Muay Thai style. This young man's like, God, this guy's sitting down in the middle of the ring, and that's what you don't want to do. He's baiting you in. And Malachi, oh! Oh, deep arm drag. Almost like an underarm spin, but well done by Malachi. Malachi changes his grip back into the ropes, and Buddy Matthews drops the stump on the arm, and oh, Malachi just adding more and more punishment. Yeah, this, this, you know, Buddy is just a raw bone, powerful, tremendous tactician himself. He certainly is, and, you know, knowing that you have an even more powerful man in Brody King to tag out to. This is big, bad, evil man right here in Brody King. I'm not sure. Matthews is looking at him. Young man don't realize what's behind yeah, him. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he realized that Brody King is tagged in, is the legal man, and whoa. Damn. Massive chop from this massive athlete. Well, Death Triangle, all three members, best beware of that tomorrow night. Yeah, Pack, yeah. Penta, and Phoenix tomorrow. The trio's tag team match. Oh, look at this. Good job by these guys. But Brody King just single-handedly, single-footedly turning things around. Oh, 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 oh. That young man might think he's in Reno right about now. Forget Vegas. Look at Malachi. Whoa! Just uh, hammers down with the point of the elbow on the yeah. top of his head. Look at Mathis. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, gone! So bomb! 
guys are always on point. Death Triangle looking sharp, looking motivated, and Brody King, the cannonball sent on. And Buddy Matthews waiting in the wings. Now Buddy, the pump handle with that inside half. Oh, oh. Now in the plant in center of the ring, Matthews covered and gets the win. There are your winners, the House of Black. Taz. I know Death Triangle will not admit it, but even they might have to say that they were intimidated by this performance here tonight. Well, it sends a message to your boy next caliber. The House of Black sends that direct message tomorrow night right there to Death Triangle. The trio of Nyla Rose, Diamante, and Emmy Soccer will take on Riho, Yuka Sakazaki, and Sky Blue. This is a trio's tag team match set for a one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing being accompanied by Vicky Guerrero, the team of Emmy Sakura, Diamante, and the native beast, Nyla Rose. As we've seen a lot of success out of the unlikely alliance between Emmy Sakura and Nyla Rose, and now adding Diamante, another dangerous individual to the mix. Yeah, that's uh, so, you know, you're right. Interesting. Uh, I think I, you got to give a lot of credit to Vicky Guerrero for orchestrating and you know, putting these women together. It's a unique setup here. The point, the point is, you know, we have seen Emmy and Nyla have success. Then, you, like you're saying, you throw in Diamante right there as we're seeing her. It's a dangerous trio, man. Diamante, tough, a bad attitude, but. have their work cut out for them against this trio of athletes. And their opponents, the team of Yuka Sakazaki, Sky Blue, and Riho! Oh, three exuberant young ladies here, my friend. And three fan favorites, Riho, Yuka Sakazaki, and Sky Blue. Well, you're saying all the fans, does these three girls are their favorites? Is that what you're implying or you're saying? Or you're saying as a fact? I'm saying they're the favorites of many fans, not all fans. But well, the way you said it, it was like they did a fan favorites in the whole wide world. Like every fan loves these three ladies. You're I, saying I, a I, majority is. I'm, 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 I'm taking it you're not a fan. No, I think they're great. I'm actually one of the okay, fans. Right, right. I love it. I think they're great. You know, I, I, I do. I'm just saying. You gotta be careful. I'm here to okay, help. Okay, thank you. I'm I appreciate that. You know that. You, you. I know you're on Dynamite, the big time. You're a big A18 Jones. I get it. Oh, Taz, but I mean, you're very magnanimous because even you. you gave Ricky Stark's pointers mid broadcast <laughs> yesterday. Yes, he did do that on live TV. Yes, <laughs> I kind of feel bad about that. That's what I did. <laughs> but I digress. Good. Yes. Well, right now at shopaew.com, you can shop the AEW collection during the Double or Nothing sale. Use promo code DON to receive 20% off. Sale runs through this Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern. It's the Double or Nothing sale right now at shopaew.com. Well, let's see now, right at the beginning of this match, you know, Riho is obviously giving up size. He's got to use a quickness against both these women here, against Nyla and Emmy. And Riho with a lot of experience against both opponents. Remember, Emi Sakura trained Riho, and oh, Riho cover there. Yes, but there's bad blood, my friend. I know about this. There certainly is, and, and Nyla Rose faced Riho in the finals in order to be, to be crowned the inaugural AEW Women's World Champion. Oh, Sky Ooh. Blue, rising knee strike. Bulldog there by Riho. Now Sky Blue, near leg hooked. Emi Sakura able to kick out. I wonder if Sky Blue's pissed at a teammate. I wonder if she's mad at Riho. Why would she be mad at Riho? Oh, oh look, look at Vicky Guerrero. Come on, completely uncalled for. Well, the referee's not looked at. I mean, oh, Sky Blue. Hey, have some respect here, Sky Blue. Oh, but Nyla Rose out of nowhere just trucked Sky Blue. Well, I was, oh, yeah, Sky's in trouble here. Well, I was pointing out this might be some dissension. I don't know, just my 
observations. I, I shouldn't say any more than this. A double earned hook there by Emi Sakura. I don't think you care. The backbreaker. Well, is it because they're both wearing blue tests? Uh, yes. <laughs> I, yeah. And there goes the line. Okay. So look at Emmy now. She's, we've seen this before. She drinks tea while sitting on someone's bottom. And she does it while she's in uh, catering as well. I've seen that, actually. Yeah, yeah she's done that. Do you let uh, Emmy Sakura use your uh, teapot underneath the desk? <laughs> no, it's fluffy. Not tea? Well, I, I noticed that you we have your coffee maker, but you've added an electric kettle as well. Well, for soup. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 what a... <laughs> I am the human suplex machine. So. Here we got a cover there! Whoa! I'm you know, I like soup. And now Diamante in control of Sky Blue, and the Sky Blue's in the wrong part of town, homeboy. Oh, shot from Emmy Sakura delivered on point. Sky Blue up in the corner. Emmy Sakura, another heavy-handed chop. Uh oh, we know what happens, Taz. We go. We will chop you, chop you. We will, we will, Emmy. Oh. A remix to remix Jones Classic. It's like a double remix. Yeah. And Emmy Sakura now looking for the Vader Bomb out of the corner. Sky Blue able to roll inward. Sky Blue's got to tag out. She's trying. And now Yuka, we, Yuka. Yuka Sakazaki. Wow. Legal member of her team. Missile springboard drop kick. And Yuka, Excellent. Very interesting. She climbed up the ropes instead of the turnbuckles, but still landed the drop kick in there, the kick on point. And Yuka sliding Lariat. Yuka's so quick, you don't know which way she's going, what she's doing, unorthodox. You know, but it works. And Yuka lands another shot to the jaw of Emi Sakura. Emi may be drinking her soup through a straw, Taz. Yeah, that's true. That could happen. Yuka maybe looking for the merry-go-round. Look at the hammerlock. Taking Emi for a ride. Oh. Yuka Sakazaki, the cover. Nyla Rose dives in to break it up. I saw you do that to the referee Bryce Rinsberg in the ball one night. Oh, watch out. <laughs> it was me a drink test. What, am, what the hell else am I supposed to do? Come on, Zach. Oh, wait a second. Hold on here. Triple offense from Emmy Sakura, Diamante, and Nyla Rose. And Emmy Sakura now with Yuka Sakazaki isolated. Yuka up to her feet, but Diamante. Yeah, Diamante coming and throwing those shots. Swinging a miss by Yuka. And trying to block, Yuka's trying to block whatever Diamante's got in mind. Diamante, I think, was looking maybe for a uh, abdominal stretch. Oh, oh, wow. Tough landing. That was like the Northern Lights bomb from Akira Hokuto. But either way, Yuka made the tag to Rio, and Rio, big diving crossbody. Rio now going to the corner, taking out Emmy and Nyla, but the Nyla thing backfired. Yeah, Nyla just grabbing the skull. Sky Blue, ooh! Sky Blue lands the, the thrust kick, and inside the ring, oh no! Rio trying to cause Adora. The assist from Yuka Sakazaki. And, wow! Rio and Yuka, the Tiger faint kicks. Take out Nyla, and Sky, Yuka, and Riho. Oh, they're all gonna put sword in the sky here. Take to the sky and crash the outside. Excellent job by Riho, Sky Blue, and Yuka Sakazaki, look at this. It was just one, two, three. Great offense there, great high-flying offenses. Diamante gets Hung up on the top rope by Sky Blue. Northern Re the lights here. Northern lights suplex. Oh. See what happened to her foot in the bridge. Got slipped up on Diamante's hair. And I think that may have been the only yeah. thing to save it, but got of here. Look at that. Rio scores the win. Now, winners of this match, the team of Yuka Sakazaki, Sky Blue, and Rio. I think she wanted to try to beat Diamante with the Northern lights, but as said, her foot. Got slipped up on that bridge. That's actually happened to me against Chris Jericho. Huh? But it was a great adjustment by Riho, yeah. who uses those knees for an athlete of her size so effectively, Ted. Yeah, right there to your point. Those double knees.
and she gets the victory. I readjusted too in 98, whatever it was. Oh, I won the match. Okay. Well, Riho, Yuka Sakazaki, and Sky Blue, your winners. And so is Aubrey Edwards, when she beat Taz as Rock, Paper, Scissors oh, earlier on. tonight. The Factory's QT Marshall, Nick Camarado, and Aaron Solo will take on Death Triangle, Ray Phoenix, Penta Oscuro, and the Bastard Pack. This is a trio's tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring, the team of Aaron Solo, Nick Camarado, and QT Marshall. Before we get to this match, I want to give a shout out to our tremendous AEW production team who did an amazing job on the countdown to Double or Nothing, which aired last night on TNT. You can still catch it on demand ahead of Double or Nothing tomorrow night live on pay-per-view. Do not want to miss the background, the insights into some of the biggest matches we will see tomorrow at Double or Nothing. Well, hey, you see the factory. Three men that I hated worldwide. Uh, QT Marshall. Now, Taz, just a second. Hold on, what? When I called Yuka Sakazaki, Second one. See, that's the, when you try to. <laughs> that's what happens when you try to talk to me. Like turn that. the lights out on me. Shut the lights. Wish we could shut your headset. in action earlier. The House of Black with an impressive victory. How will Death Triangle respond not only here tonight, but tomorrow live at the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada for AEW's Double or Nothing. If you don't have a ticket, the only way you can see it is on pay-per-view, Bleacher Report, or Fight.TV internationally. Well, yeah, it's definitely gonna be um, sure how devastating and nasty and evil House of Black was just earlier tonight in this episode here of Dark. But as you see that trio's match tomorrow night, House of Black collides with these three men here, and that's Ray Phoenix. And Ray Phoenix, since his return to action here in AEW, he suffered that uh, very gruesome, very scary arm injury. Oh, yeah. Uh, earlier this year when Penta and Phoenix put that AEW World Tag Team Championship on the line against Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. He's back in action, but Taz, actually, I mean, take a step back. If Phoenix didn't suffer that injury, there's a chance that Penta and Phoenix may still be AEW World Tag Team Champions to this day. Oh, no, I, I think you're right about that, uh, for sure. I've thought of that in the past, and uh, you're on point, I think, but that's what happens with injuries, man. It changes the, the, the way the boat is going. The boat's going one way, it changes shift right there, but Pack is an amazing athlete. He just showed Aaron Solo that right there, that kip up. Solo avoids the trip attempt by Pack. Pack with the leapfrog. And now Solo, leapfrog of his own. Pack pulls through. Pipasso sends Solo into the ropes. Big deep arm drag there by Pack. Pack, side headlock takeover. Yeah, I think Pack maybe wanted a hip toss. And he saw that Solo shifted his hips back. He's quickly transitioned to a side headlock takedown. Excellent counter by Pat. Penta Oscuro makes the tag, and Aaron Solo immediately backing off. And Taz, well, the death triangle maybe not as, you know, massive, physically speaking, as the House of Black are. They are three of the finest professional wrestlers in the entire world today. Well, absolutely. I, I, listen, I'm a, you know, I think size is important in our sport, but over the years it's shown that so many men and women are successful without having massive size. Oh. Penta gets right up into the, the jaw of QT Marshall. QT and Penta have crossed paths on multiple occasions in the past. And more often than not, what we see is Penta getting the advantage on 
QT, and it happened once again right there. Yeah, I think QT got a little ahead of himself there, but that was a, that was a, a definitely gutsy. Oh, look at that backstabber there. Oof. Time backstabber by Penta. And you see Penta wearing the dark attire. And his, oh, wait, pump handle is looking for the Maiden Japan, the Maiden Penta, as it's sometimes called. But, oh, wait a second. Here comes Ray, his brother. Ray Phoenix was going up to the ah, top. Ah, spot by QT right there to get out of harm's way. And Nick Camarado just walked right into the thrust kick yeah. by Penta. Literally. Phoenix into the grip of Camarado. Phoenix lands on his feet. Penta kick to the midsection. Into the Gamangiri there from the Bastard Pack. And wow! Oh, God. Three consecutive shots to the head of Nick Camarado on that death triangle. Triple drop kicks. All great technique with those kicks by all three men of the death triangle. And they did that to a guy like Camarado, who's one of the strongest men on the AW roster. To my point that the size is not everything, you know? Yeah. A great job by death triangle to neutralize the size advantage. And a trio of dives outside the ring. House of Black, you know they're watching this. Malachi Black, he scouts everything. He don't miss nothing. Did you notice there, Pack actually gave a look up the ramp. I think he was half expecting the House of Black to make their presence felt in this match. Yeah, for sure. I think Aaron Solo might have, when he got hit in that dive, he might have landed on his shoulder. We're not seeing him right now, but it looked like he was definitely grabbing at his shoulder. Well, Nick Camarado still the legal man for the factory. As Ray Phoenix, can, can Phoenix get Camarado up into a brain buster? Well, well, we'll never know. As Camarado, look at the strength and power slam by Camarado. Oh, well, that's one moment where the size and power does matter. Yeah. <laughs> See? And Aaron Solo up to his feet, but still clutching that arm close to the body and pack, trying to encourage Ray Phoenix to make the crawl, to make the tag out. But Camarado now tags in Solo. Solo trying to gut this out. You see how he's holding that arm close to the body, the drop kick. Solo now cover. He noticed off that drop kick, Excal, but a sense of urgency by Aaron Solo. He knew he had a great athlete, a world-class athlete like Phoenix down and out. He went for a quick cover, but it didn't work. Solo charges in. Close on in the corner, and then tag made out to QT Marshall. And chorus of boos ringing out here. The Michelob Ultra Arena at Mandalay Bay. Not the reception. Well, I was making that point earlier. I mean, QT is might be hated worldwide by everyone. Might be. So you qualify. Yeah, take, taking your own advice, Ted. Yeah, you will. I'm just trying to help you. <laughs> <laughs> Again, so giving. <laughs> right hand to the ribs by Camarado. Ray Phoenix is in trouble, desperately needs to make the tag. See, the factory involved a lot of stuff, too, at, the, at New Japan. Yeah, that's right. She's there. The guys from the LA Dojo. Yeah, New the factory, Solo Camarado, and, yeah, yeah. and uh, QT making appearances on New Japan Strong, and then we saw the 10-man tag for the LA Dojo guys came to AEW Dark and uh, AEW Universal. And the New Japan Dojo guys were victorious. I'm sure the factory hasn't forgotten about that. Look oh at Ray God. Phoenix. That was amazing. It's just unfair. It's unreal. Phoenix. Looking to make the crawl to make the tag. I think I might have did that with Paul Sipley once in 89 to a guy. I think. Maybe not. Surfer Ray Odyssey. <laughs> oh, big right hand. Knocks pack. Oh, Aha! QT once again. The old New Jersey salute. Oh, Ray Fanning. Oh! Kick right on the money. QT drops. QT did not expect that quick kick. By Phoenix. And that's what makes Phoenix just so dangerous. That unexpected offense diving cross body. Swing and a miss by QT Marshall. Swing. Sling blade there by Penta Oscuro. And Camarado. No. Penta comes off. T. Harris of his own. Kick to the knee. Drops Camarado. 
And again, the kick's rocking the jaw of Nick Camarado. Almost crushed the massive head of Nick Camarado. The bastard pack inside the ring with QT Marshall up in the corner. Pack. The Bandera sends him over to the apron, but Pack comes in with a stunner. Whoa. Which is close to that diamond cutter that QT uses. Oh, the soul butt, though, doubles over. QT Marshall kick to the chest, another soul butt. And Pack. Well, one for the drop kick to the side of the head. QT avoided it. Pack comes back. German suplex. A quick snap, German. Well done by Pack. Pack There's a cover. Covers. Oh, QT. Very nearly got pinned right there. Yeah, no joke, dude, for real. Tomorrow night, as we mentioned, it will be House of Black versus Death Triangle, all a part of our huge Double or Nothing broadcast. Another trios tag team match that was made official yesterday at Rampage. A mixed trios tag team match. Scorpio Sky, Ethan Page, and Paige Van Zant making her professional wrestling debut will take on Sammy Guevara, uh, Frankie Kazarian, and Ty Conti, where if Scorpio Sky's team wins, Frankie and Sammy Guevara can never challenge Scorpio Sky for the TNT Championship ever again. Listen, lock it up! <laughs> Go Pack, talks like my old uncle. Uncle Tony's talking about it. I love it. I didn't know your Uncle Tony was from Newcastle. Oh, yeah, no, he is. Oh, QT Marshall! Oof! What a comeback there by QT Marshall! Good job, QT! Where's it? Wait, whoa! QT caught Pack sleeping a little bit, and QT was looking for, for Solo. The, for Solo, just yeah, Solo. Looking for the tag out, but a big Liger bomb. Up so. No! Damn, that was close. And what a blow that would be for Death Triangle. This is a, a lot bigger challenge for Death Triangle than we saw earlier for House of Black. Yeah, most certainly is. The Factory taking the fight to Death Triangle, and QT. Leaping elbow in the corner, and Camarado collides. The pop-up elbow strike. The spear. Oh, they're killing Pack here. Oh, my God. Solo with the foot stomps. This is upsetting the making. Oh, 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 oh. Phoenix with the breakup. Oh, you didn't need your kidneys anyway there, Solo. Man, that had to hurt. Man, he got hit hard in the kidneys. That saved by Phoenix. And Ray Phoenix sent to the outside. QT Marshall. Comes over the top with the Pescado attempt, and oh, the Lucha Brothers rocking QT Marshall. The teamwork. And Camarado gets taken down on the outside. Aaron Solo inside the ring. He's got Pack. Pack counter, lands, counter. Lands behind, backs up to the corner. Ray Phoenix makes the tag. Oh, boy. And the stop to the back of the head. Solo looks like he might have got singled out here. And What does Death Triangle have in store? The Fear Factor double stomp. And now the Bastard Pack comes in, locks the Brutalizer center of the ring. Aaron Solo with nowhere to go. He's forced to submit. And are your winners, Death Triangle. And a very angry Pack. Hanging on to that Brutalizer. Sending a message not only to Solo, but to House of Black as oh, well. Absolutely, for tomorrow night. I agree with that for sure, x -Cal. Let's take a look here. Phoenix right there and his brother Lucha Bros. But then coming in here with this Brutalizer, awesome submission. Solo has no choice but to give up. Looks like Phoenix by the camera across and dove and did something to stop one of the factory members. House of Black, best beware, my friend. Yeah, the Death Triangle are on a mission to end this rivalry with the House of Black any way they can. And we will see it unfold tomorrow night live at Double or Nothing on Pay-Per-View. On Sunday, May 29th, oh, this is game time, like the Bowl. world will be watching. This crowd is going crazy! When all elite wrestling takes over Sin City. Win, lose, or draw, you will know that you have been in a fight. I am going to destroy CM Punk. 
in the most anticipated event of the year. Cause we're champions, game time. AEW presents Double or Nothing, live. Oh my God, is that private party? Yeah, let's go. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by Isaiah Cassidy from Brooklyn, New York, weighing 191 pounds, Mark Quinn. Mark Quinn, Isaiah Cassidy coming out. Quinn, one half of our main event on this special Saturday edition of AEW Dark. We are just over 24 hours away from Double or Nothing live on pay-per-view, Bleacher Report, and Flight.tv internationally. Select movie theaters across the United States. You cannot afford to miss Double or Nothing tomorrow night, 8 Eastern. It is going to be an amazing event. Cannot wait for tomorrow night live from Sin City, baby. Let's do it. Aye, 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 aye. Quinn looks like 50 years older with the dyed beard. Last time I <laughs> checked, we in Las Vegas. Home of partying, drinking. Not that. But we need a reason to celebrate tonight, my boy. So I got something special. Check this out. Tonight, I'm hosting an open contract to any wrestler in the back Matter of fact, I excuse myself, any bozo in the back that don't get the ass whooped by Mark Quinn is gonna happen here tonight. So bring your ass out if you are ready, boy. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, 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 what the hell? <laughs> Isaiah Cassidy, who the hell gave him these, this he's power? Got, he's got clout to give out contracts now. Bro, Johnny Elite making his return here to AEW to answer Isaiah Cassidy's open challenge for Mark Quinn. Well, if Cassidy mentioned any bozo in the back, I can assure you, Johnny Elite is anything but a bozo. This guy is a world class professional wrestler, an amazing athlete. Guys, unbelievable, it's great. Johnny Elite, Mark Quinn, set to go one on one here tonight in our main event. And Hangman Adam Page defends his AEW World Championship against CM Punk at double or nothing tomorrow night. Buy the pay per view event right now on Bleacher Report and watch it live tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern. Double Isaiah, or nothing. Sorry, Isaiah, he just is wearing. Oh man, Johnny Elite's uh, robe is ring jacket. You don't see that much. Mark Quinn, the, the blindside shot, getting the upper hand. Johnny Elite, like Lariat, takes yeah. down Quinn. Yeah, Johnny Elite is sudden, man. He's quick. That oh. knee strike, he can go. Big knee strike, and Johnny, oh! Look at that corkscrew into the cover. Mark Quinn able to kick out. Look at the poise and the relaxation of someone like Johnny Elite. That's not just experience, that's just his style, man. I, I was there when this guy first started, man. He's always just made the sport look easy. Oh, look at that. Faked with the right, caught Quinn with the left. Kind of like you were commenting. <laughs> I saying, told you I'm not used to you saying nice things about Ah, it's the, you know, it's the weekend. Oh, okay. Double or nothing, Jones. Yeah. That's right, the AEW World Championship match, not the only title match tomorrow night. Oh, wait a second. Private party looking oh, for the silly string. Silly yeah. string. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, man. John. Oh! oh, I got a top of the head exclamation point. What a landing. Dude. I was going to mention that Thunder Rosa tomorrow puts her AEW Women's World Championship on the line. Gets the number one contender, Serena Deeb. The AEW World Tag Team Championship is on the line in a three way match. Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. Look to defend against Swerve in our glory, Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland, and absolute Ricky Starks and powerhouse Hobbs. Look, Look at Isaiah. 
Isaiah Cassidy, the boots on the outside. Referee is dealing with Mark Quinn. He doesn't realize what Isaiah is doing to Johnny Elite. The TBS Championship is up for grabs when Jade Cargill puts her championship. Oh, wait, cover here. Two. No, Johnny Elite able to kick out. Against Anna Jay, yes, tomorrow night. Yeah, it's the championship and the streak on the line tomorrow night on Double or Nothing. The Anarchy in the Arena match. The Jericho Appreciation Society take on John Moxley, Brian Danielson, Eddie Kingston, Santana, and Ortiz. It's gonna be a war, dude. That's gonna be a war. Anarchy, I say. And this match can't get here soon enough, Taz. Wardlow finally has the opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one with MJF. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. I, I think Wardlow's gonna get what's coming to him. I can't wait to see MJF destroy Wardlow. I really hope that happens. I really do. I think there's only two people on Earth that think that's gonna happen, it's you and MJF. But I digress. You might be right. <laughs> Kick to the midsection yeah. by Johnny Elite. He hoists up Mark Quinn. Fireman's carry, oh, Quinn. What is, what is, Elite got mine. Ah. Uh, Mark Quinn, the receiving end of the, the water wheel dropped with a little, little uh, grape crusher as well. And shooting star press, two. Oh, two. oh, almost got him there. Wow. Johnny Elite pulling out all the stops here. Grape crusher test. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I know what you're saying. It's, it's a move from a vineyard. You know, the old, old Lucille Balls? I, I I have nothing but a wine cellar in one of my homes. I'm very familiar with wines. Reverse that shit. See the reverse? You heard Isaiah. Re reserve, re reverse. You heard. Oh! Johnny Elite. A high kick. Backs Quinn up to the corner. Quinn. Moonsault lands on his feet. Johnny Elite. Spring. Oh! The ref got nailed! Paul Turner just got taken out by Johnny Elite. Accidentally that happened. Wow. What a turn of events here. Paul Turner, he got he got popped, man. Certainly did. That's that's rough going, especially 24 hours before double or nothing. I mean it happens, you're, you're, you're collateral damage in a match sometimes if you're the, the third person in the ring as the referee. Johnny Elite. Johnny better focus on Quinn. Now up to his feet, as is Mark Quinn. Oh, low blow! Oh, now there's the opportunity for Private Party as a unit, a double team on the man in a one-on-one -on -one match. Referee Paul Turner is out. He seems to be down for the count. Better get another referee out here or something. And wait a second, Private Party. The snapshot to Johnny Elite with referee Paul Turner down. Genius work if they can get the victory here. It's Mark, a leak done. Mark Nine. Quinn the cover. And oh, Johnny Elite able to kick out. Impressive. Johnny Elite somehow able to survive that, but I'm not sure he can survive much more, Taz. No, he, he's, it's tough for him to do anything. He's hurting right now if that double team move by private party. Mark Quinn up to the top. Quinn likes to use that shooting star press. No, land on his feet, but rolls through. Johnny Elite up to his feet. Johnny comes through. The tornado through the ropes. Yeah, he wanted to get even with Isaiah, and he did. Now Mark Quinn charging at Johnny Elite. Johnny, the kick. He drops Quinn. Uh-oh. This guy can do a lot of stuff from the ropes. Elite can. And Johnny split e. leg. Oh, late! Crashes on Quinn. The deep cover and the win. The winner of this match, Johnny Elite. Well, Johnny Elite answering the open challenge and picking up his first AEW victory tonight in our main event. And just one more reminder: double or nothing coming your way live tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern. 7 Central on pay-per-view. Bleacher Report. Fight.tv. What the hell is going on What here? is this? Hold on a second. Who is this guy? Hey, who, bro, who is this?
I think Johnny at least his jacket is getting stolen once again and what is going on here? Is this a fan like what is this? Is Johnny Lee's friend? I guess so. Well, Johnny Lee seems to be enjoying it as his jacket is returned to him. And, well, while all this is going on, I'm going to remind you, tomorrow night, double or nothing, the main event, Hangman Adam Page looks to defend the AEW World Championship against CM Punk. All of that and so much more, double or nothing, live, 8 p.m. Eastern on pay-per-view, Bleacher Report, and Fight.tv. We'll see you then. Good night, everyone.